On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, find out why I have a beer belly, why I should join OnlyFans, and we plan our dream funeral. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and tech-savvy mum, yes. Lisa. Say hello, mum. Hello, mum. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart, and in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much-needed advice that only a mother can give. Oh. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities, these are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. True. So I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013 and no matter what the issue, I will ask in a feature I like to call, Mum, can we talk? Can we, heck. Welcome, Mother. Well. Welcome, Mother of mine. Mother of... To my house. I'm, Not my house, yeah, my flat. Yeah, I know. This is um, a bit weird, isn't it? First time, your first time here. First time. I'd never invite you just socially. No, Only I did wonder that. Content. On the way here, I thought, oh, it'd be nice <gasps> to have been asked for purposes. a meal or something. Mm. Well, you can stay if you like. Mm. That'd be um, exciting. Yeah, you can say. Well, oh, it's can... amazing. Yes. It's Isn't it? I want a tour. Do you I get, get a tour? tour? Yeah, you'll oh, get a, a tour. A tour. An MTV Cribs style tour. You've seen all my, you feel like you've seen all my houses though that I've moved. No, I didn't see the last one. Didn't you? The one with the funny the bathroom. One. No, I didn't see that one. I only saw the, the basement, the damp the damp basement. basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. cat piss damp the basement. cat piss Have I spoke about that? Damp. No. No, we haven't actually. Really? Oh, wow. Gosh, that was cold and damp. This was um, my... God, I've moved around a lot. You have. This? So, was... not the last house, but the house before. Yes. I was in West London. I was in a basement with my you, friend you Scott. You so happy to be living yeah, there. Yeah, I, like, I, in my... In, like, I was living out my Notting Hill, Hugh Grant dreams yes. as soon as wow. i stepped out the house <laughs> yes you know like i'll be right by portobello road i'd walk down you know get my coffee and wander around oh, and, it was cool know, help i hope i bumped into um julia roberts yeah and um fall in love with her <laughs> uh but i didn't no. instead um i would return home and there'd be a bit of a a, a damp smell a bit um and it it, it it gave us headaches. Like it was giving Scott and I like headache. Mm. And we were like, this doesn't feel like this is like, we feel like we're in like damp and mold territory. And we couldn't find where it was like at all. Um, and there was this like sort of secret cupboard above the fridge that we found. Um, <laughs> and we opened it and it was like this just like damp pool of like thing, like leaking through the ceiling. Oh, God, and it stunk. And, like it fucking stunk. So we got the guy round <laughs> and <laughs> the first guy came around and he was like, just like a, he didn't know the building very well. It was just like a random handyman. He was like, um, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like I've looked at the, like, there isn't a toilet upstairs. Like, I don't know why it would be leaking or like, it's not a bathroom above, above that where that should be. Yeah. Um, and then we got the, a different guy around who was like the landlord knew and he was like, oh, I think I, I I know what this is. And we were like, what is it? And it's like, basically the woman who used to live upstairs, who's now like in a care home or whatever, or dead, I can't remember, <laughs> had like a dozen cats <laughs> and they would all piss in the same place. <laughs> and it, it, that, we, it, it was leaking through. Like 10 year old cat piss. Deeply disgusting. Just leaking through our ceiling. And it really genuinely made me ill. I like, did, well, I was were having poorly. daily headaches. Like for for four months, Jack, it's not three funny. months, <laughs> and I was like, and I, like I, headaches really scare me because like something like you know, when you got a tummy ache, like I've ate, I've eaten something dodgy. Headaches, there's like I feel like I could be dying. Yes, yes you know, I you know. don't know what's wrong. No, I know. Um, I know. And literally, the moment I moved in with George in the old place, um, it went away. So it did. Um, it was definitely the cat piss. And I woke up freezing every day because the heating didn't work. Well, the heating was, well, it was fairly... You'd leave the heating on for like five hours and it would go up like one degree. 
Yeah, it was hopeless. So it wasn't a good, it wasn't a good Notting Hill experience. No. Um, but you know, you live and learn. Yes. And now we live the high life on the 22nd I, floor. It's the most amazing view. Mm. It's, ama- well, it's just incredible. I love it. It's not that, how, how, high, how high did you live? What's your highest floor? My highest floor that I've ever <laughs> <Bitch>. lived. <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Um, Oops. It's not a reference to anything. It's just, it's like not, it's just me being like, oh, ha ha. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Loser. Loser. All right. Mm. Charming. Uh, second. <laughs> <laughs> I'd totally I've never lived on yeah, I've never lived on any, anywhere I guess, high. Yeah, sort of. Actually. To be fair, I was very, I was very anti new builds before I came here. Oh, well. I was always like, it will feel like a hotel. There's no character. Well, Which I still is, agree with to a certain yeah, extent. I would agree with that. Um, but no, I can't but complain. Everything works perfectly. Everything Apart works. Apart from my underfloor heating. <laughs> in, oh, in my, sweetie, what a <laughs> no, shame. It is, it is a bit oh, of a nightmare. Raw. In my bathroom, the underfloor heating won't turn off. And I haven't told oh. them because I don't. I think it's broken. So it's like not. it's not like going into our bills. Like it's not like... Oh, I see. So, like, oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, if we get a heat wave, you'll yeah, be that's what I mean. Going... But then it's and I, like I re- I originally did email our our like maintenance people, mm. um, and then I didn't follow up because they 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 are a bit annoying. They're like, can you send us a photo? What's the point <laughs> like, of well, sending what? a and, photo? Like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, just come and look at it. Like, I don't need to send you a picture of my floor, <laughs> like a video. Like, <laughs> like, what's that gonna do? Um, but. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not turning like I'm not fixing it because it is like it's nice more than it is yes. horrible at this point. Because this like point, I'll come in cold and I'll be like, oh, I'll just like step just into my bathroom and it'll be boiling. And it is hot. Like we'll go in there later. Is it? Oh, I'm it's excited. Like, the only I've thing is like when feet. I come out of a hot shower, I'm like, oh my fucking God, <laughs> I'm going to faint. But you know, <laughs> I like being warm more than I do cold. Yeah. But yeah, when summer comes and it's no. and if it's not fixed, I'm going to no, be pretty. No, you need to get it sorted. Pretty mudded. I shall want to have a look around and see whether it's clean. Yeah. Who's in charge of the cleaning? Um, it's sort of been a group effort, I'd oh, say. Um, Does everybody pull their weight? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Um, there was a time at the start where we thought maybe George wasn't very good. Oh, really? But he's George got, he's got better good. recently. Oh, um, I shall have to have a word Chris with is him. good. Chris, Chris lived with his girlfriend for oh. seven years, so he's a oh. bit of a house husband in oh, that sense. Okay. So he knows Yeah, about... his ex-girlfriend. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. But I've been quite good. I, I think, you know, living in a nice place makes you want to keep it nice. Keep it nice. You didn't do that when you were living <laughs> at home. True. Just True. saying. Yeah. Um, mm. But no, I think I am beco- I'm becoming a bit of a new man in this, in this, in this house. Are I you? Think. Yeah, in, all, in all kinds of areas. Oh. Cooking. Cooking. Cooking more. I got the Hello Fresh thing. Hello I mean, Fresh. Literally last week, but I have been I have been cooking more um, before that. Have you? Um and I have to I have to I'm eating of, healthy at the moment. Okay, I was gonna say But I actually want to talk about this because oh. um I thought I was doing really well. And I I'm injured. I've got like three injuries at the moment, which I've What's got my wrist still now? hasn't healed properly. Oh. Mm. And my glute basically my whole right bum is just your whole, my right, whole bum. right bum <laughs> from the back to the front. Not the front, you know, like the side. Anyway, hip is very like whenever I do more than 20 minutes of running or like football, it just really hurts. And then it will hurt for like two days. Oh, God. And I don't know what it is. Um, And also my left foot, (laughs) David Beckham's left foot. Eh? Sorry. I don't know why I thought that. David Beckham's right foot. What are you talking about? Hugh Grant, sorry. When did he ever talk about David Beckham's So I haven't done cardio. I haven't been doing, I haven't been running. I've just been playing football once a week, which I shouldn't be doing. Because it makes it worse. But I've been on this PT plan and he's been like tracking my diet or whatever. Right. Um, and I was, uh-huh. and I had the, the checkup yesterday. Yes. Thinking I would have lost because we're sort of, the aim is to lose body fat at the moment. Is it? Yes. You haven't got any. I do. I, I do have a belly. You I do, do. I promise not. you, I do have a belly. Oh, I do. Nonsense, Arthur. I have a belly. Gee, I have a big, I have a big not. beer belly. Oh, I do. Arthur. I'm at like 21% body fat and I should be at like 14. God, I must be about to... 99? Joking. Well, yeah, well, yeah, no. I was going to say 80% um, at least. But 
I went there oh yesterday God. thinking I'd been doing okay, especially with yes. the eating. Because I, I generally have not had any fast food. Okay, good. Unlike, I've tried to not have any, like, not too processed much processed stuff. food. Like, yeah. No, like, breaded chicken. Good. Or stuff like that. You know, yeah, occasionally, if George has some leftover McNuggets, I'm going to have a couple. But I've had maybe <laughs> two max. And I've never bought it. Okay. Um, and, yeah, I went in and I'd, I'd, I'd put on weight. I'd put on weight. Oh. And not muscle. But I was going to say, can it not be? I'd, I'd gained 1% body fat. Um, oh. So I was really miserable yesterday. Oh. Well. My PT shouted at me. Did he? Not really, no. But, but did he? Is it a he? It's a he, yeah. Did, has he given you um, instructions as to what you should eat? Yeah, yeah. He's been telling me. Um, I've been watching, what's his name? Michael Mosley on telly. He does the same sort of thing. Yeah. Tells people we what love to him. eat. You've never Michael heard of Mosley. him. He's great. He sounds 75 minimum. He's probably quite yeah. old, but that doesn't make him a bad person. Michael. And he goes into people's houses and it's been really fascinating. Let's sort of see. quite large people. Yeah. That, there he is. Yeah, yeah he's quite well, old. 66. Well, he's probably about my oh, there you go, a bit older than me. Oh, just um, a tad older. He um he he tells people it's really interesting. He goes in and oh, I've just said the same thing three times. <laughs> Think before we start, is it really interesting? Well, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, he asks people whether they eat healthily, and they right. say, "Oh, yeah, I think so." You know, we eat vegetables and fruit, and la 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 la. Mm. And then he he secretly follows them as they <laughs> go, do their shop. Okay, right. And then he and then there's at the end there's the trolley of get truth. <laughs> no, shut up. A pudding. He shoots but, them on the spot. Yes, he does. No, but it's fascinating that people then say, "Oh well, yeah. Oh, that was it. The couple that we saw, they did eat quite healthily, but right. what they kept secret from mm. whatever his name is. What did I say his name was? Michael, Michael Mosley. Was that? Um, <laughs> God, it's the coffee. So he's kicking in now. Is now. <laughs> um, <laughs> What did I, what was I saying? Oh, the, the couple. And, and the thing they didn't tell him was that they had takeaways every night of the week. What? Usually delivered at about 10 o'clock. Oh, and they so were spending bad. something like 300 quid a week on takeaways. And they were just like wolfing down mm. all sorts. God, and wondered why bad. they weren't losing weight. Sounds Amazing. A bit like George Clark. Does it? Oh, I've got, I'm going to have lots of ammunition for when I, I we'll finally meet his George delivery Clark. Bill out. Um, some oh. fucker. <gasps> Sorry, I hate everyone. this shit. Come some on, bastard compiled all of my dinner table videos into one video. <gasps> no. And put it on TikTok. Did he? And it got like 15 million views. Did and he? like 2 million. And I, was, I, I mean, I got loads of new followers from it, which is fine. But he would have made money from that because it was like three was minutes he? long. Oh. And the new YouTube thing, uh, TikTok thing, is like if it's over a minute long, you make quite good money. Like oh. I genuinely think he would have made a couple grand from that. Really? Just ripping oh. my content. Well, I need to start doing that then. I but it's do mad that like, like two money. years later, three years later, that's still. No, but that's still great. Can just go viral. That's well, nice if he, you know, that's quite a nice tribute to you, isn't it? If he thinks that that mm. was worth doing. But it, yeah, depends. I think how you he owes me ten percent. I'm in them. True. Yeah. True. What's going I was on? hoping you never realised that. Cheeky blighted. Yeah. Ten percent of money. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Or even twelve and a half, actually, these days. Ten, ten. Fifteen, Ten's fine. possibly. Ten. Haggle. Ten's fine. Fifteen. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I don't know. For two lies sick. and a truth. Yes, go. Um, oh, God. Before we take a break, <laughs> let's play the classic game. Yep. Of two lies and the truth. I'm going to tell you three things mm. and you have to guess which is the truth. Yes. I'll give you the answer in part two. God, that makes a Are change. Are you ready? Yep. Ooh, okay. Founded in 2016, Ooh. OnlyFans is a subscription-based oh. social media platform that enables content creators and influencers to capitalize on their creativity and influence and usually porn. Um, but which of these names was one of the highest earning creators <laughs> last year, oh earning no. around 20 million a month? <laughs> Stop it. My God. 20, 20 million, million a, a month. month? That's this nearly as ridiculous. much as I earn. <laughs> oh my. Um, oh. A. Black China. Black China. 
spelled B L A C C H Y N A. Black China. Oh, oh gosh, that's freaking out. B White Beluga. Or was that oh, Beluga? No. I don't know. No, Beluga. Beluga? Beluga Black Whale. China. Beluga Whale. Maybe she's Beluga large. White Beluga. Um, <laughs> C Purple Pussy. Oh! In the purple pussy. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, thank you. Purple yeah, all right, enough. Um, oh. They're pretty... Mm. I, yeah, I only know one... I've only heard of one of them, which is interesting. Oh, you and have I'd, heard of yeah, one yeah, of them? Yeah, yeah, and I'd be, I would be really surprised if she's making that much. If she's making that much money at all, or if she's making yeah, that I mean, much I mean, money I don't know. on it's, it's OnlyFans? Well, she's probably just doing OnlyFans, I would imagine. Mm. And maybe like streaming... I'm in the wrong business. How'd you get this? Please, just, no, you're not. Uh, Do no, <laughs> you are in the right one. Yeah, but if you didn't Let's know it was this my one. bit you were looking at, oh, it wouldn't God, know, imagine. Would it? My 80% body fat might come in handy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get my bunda out there. No. <laughs> um, okay, join us in part two. Well, we'll Ooh. find out the answer. And for mum. <gasps> It's mummy's ball. What a break that was. Oh, I feel so much One better of the best now. Ever. Yeah, it was a good um, one. We've got some Mum Can We Talk correspondence on the way shortly. But first, <gasps> before the break, we were playing mm. Two Lies and the Truth. And yes. I asked you, founded in 2016, OnlyFans is a subscription-based social media platform that enables content creators and influencers to capitalize on their creativity and influence and mostly promote porn. Prominently <laughs> porn, sorry. <laughs> But which of these names was one of the highest earning creators last year? Anyway, 20 million a month. Jesus. That's like more than footballers. It's It's bonkers. It's utterly ridiculous. Just all of horny men. Imagine how powerful men could be. Not just be horny men. How do we know that any of these three names aren't blokes? I just do. No, do you? Yeah. Okay, well, let me look at it. So, Black China... Yeah. White beluga. <laughs> you see, I'm thinking... Interesting think they've all got colours in there. They're name. all colours. I think purple pussy mm. is just... That's just Jack being silly, quite frankly, in my humble opinion. Sorry, am I boring you? I didn't yawn. Of, you I did, did not yawn then. You, I did not yawn. You di- I, I didn't saw yawn. you, Arthur. I didn't yawn. He did. I didn't yawn. <laughs> you did. Anyway, I didn't yawn. <laughs> you did. I, you did that thing. No, I didn't. Anyway. anyway, so I think Jack has completely made up purple pussy. Okay. The, the alliteration is too, you know. It does sort of, yeah. Sounds like a sort of 1970s Bond girl. Well, indeed. Thing. Pussy galore. Mm. There was a, that was a moment and a half. Purple pussy. Um, I thought I'd see it. I think black... <laughs> I think Black China sounds quite funky and the way it's spelt mm. and everything, you know, is a bit different. Um, but it also makes me think of China Diner, which is a bit dull, you know. What's that? Well, like a Chinese restaurant, China Diner. <laughs> Isn't it? No? <laughs> Interesting thought process. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, that's, that's where I am. Mm. Um, whereas, actually, it was because you said about a beluga whale... That made me think, you know, people like a bit of flesh, don't they? And so maybe this lady calling herself White Beluga is a voluptuous Mm. type. Mm. And yeah, I'm going to go for White Beluga. White Beluga. Yeah. Final answer. Yes, locked in. The answer is Black China. Oh, damn Which I can't believe. Whose real name is Angela Renee White. No. Is a reality television star and social media entrepreneur who joined OnlyFans as a creator in April 2020. The 33-year-old celebrity has made 155 posts and amassed... That's not even that what? much. That's not many. And amassed around 16,000 likes on her OnlyFans page. She has 16.1 million Instagram followers. Fucking hell who have been navigated towards the exclusive content on our OnlyFans page in exchange for a monthly fee of £20. $20. Oh, my God. So, 
you can, yeah. Oh my God. So, yeah. Don't even ask me to add that those numbers It only takes like 100,000 people. Don't even. To be, is that right? 100,000 people paying $20. Is that 20 million? <laughs> Quick, calculators out. Now 100,000 people paying 20 pounds would be 2 million. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. Can we? Can we? Can you get a picture? I want up to know what she looks. So what? Yeah, because I, I know. Of her... I remember what she looks like, and it's it's not what you think. It's not sort of standard oh, beauty standards. Let's put that. Oh, oh no! Oh dear! To be fair, she's actually better looking than I I remember her being. Oh, I think she's a fright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, I don't want girls. I don't to know think what the... that that's what they want to look like. Well, they would mm. stick a picture of Sophia Loren up there. She's far more beautiful than that. Don't tell me you haven't noticed Sophia Loren. The old, the old, the old school movie Yeah, star. but bloody gorgeous. But looking like that naturally without all that work. I mean, there's not a lot of her that's not been fiddled with. But what? don't show a picture of her in her 80s, Well, Jack. that's what she can't make. Only Your no. point is invalid if she looks like that. No, it she isn't. can't make an My OnlyFans is, now. No, but what I'm saying is all those pictures that Black China is putting out and girls, you know, young girls think, oh, I've got to look like that. Mm. Why can't they have looked at a picture of a proper woman? Because she's 80. And they well, don't, she she's not in anything anymore. Oh, okay. But, but they I could, agree with you. I think it's, a, I, you know, I, I don't want to, oh. yeah, I've got to, I'm all for, Women, women, women empowerment. You're all, all for women. I'm all for women. I love women. <laughs> Votes and, for women. You know, get your get your bag, sis. Get the bread. But I think there what? is a there is a Hang on. get what your does get all your that bread. Mean? But get your bag and get, get your, your bread. Bag, get your bread. Get Sounds your money. Sounds like you're sending your mother off to do the shopping. No, no. Get that bread means get that get the money. Oh, I see that sort of bread. Right. Um, oh, God. But it is it is. Okay. It is interesting the way it's going, I think. Don't like it. Like, I think with the streamers as well, streamers on Twitch, which is a streaming website. Twitch? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's all becoming very, very sex oriented. Oh, God. And it's like 14 dull. year olds. No, are it's watching not that. right. No. I think, please like, stop. we're going to have, like, news will be, I think, in five years. Read by naked people. Yeah, I think it will. It will be oh. read by naked people online, and everything will just be naked. <laughs> well, like, that, well, then because there's, there nothing, is like a, there's you know, nothing left to. Oh, I oh God, I'm so. I'm it's depressed kind of now. you know when you when you get famous for like not learning a skill. <laughs> hey. I don't want to come across, you know, like what you sh there's there's like talent and there's skill and you work hard to learn a skill. Yes, of course there is. Like whatever it is, you know, playing an instrument, singing, whatever. Yes. But then like now yes. it's possible to, get to make money. Just by having big tits. Yeah. Or showing your bottom. It's kind of like limitless. It's like but it's girls rubbish. can just get a boob job and then. And then be famous. Mm, um, which is great. It's not. No, but it's hey. Who, and it know. doesn't last forever. Boobs oh, last forever. No, they don't. Boobs will be there. Oh god! Especially the fake ones. They'll they won't no, they, they won't rot away with the corpse. Oh god! Oh my They'll god! They'll be there like. Oh jeez! No, can we not dig them up and stop now? Still got some big kahunas. Arthur, behave R yourself. R.I.P. Granny. He's making me feel a bit sick now. Oh, I forgot that on her page she advertises. Oh, there's more. Um, Foot Freak Mondays as a selling point. Oh, oh she? and would would you be up for starting a Foot Freak Mondays? <laughs> I don't think mine would have quite the same <laughs> sort of um, appeal. Mm. Well, I can't think why anyone's... I have got quite nice feet. I bet my feet are just as nice as hers. It's just you don't want to maybe. see the rest of what's attached painted? to the feet. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about that. No, well, maybe okay. we'll start a Foot no, only let's fans not. for you. No, okay. Let's not. I could live with your feet being out there. Could you? Nothing else. Okay. Yeah. Don't put your foot in it. No, oh, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Right, mum. Yeah. Can we talk? Can you stop burping? Sorry. God, stop yawning, stop burping. Well, you what know. What can I do these days? Just be nice. Okay. Mum, can we talk, please? 
Yes. Please, Mum. Yes, okay. Shall we dive in? As long in? as it's nice. Well, it's not going to oh, be nice, is it? I can't guarantee that, can I? No, I suppose you can't. Question from Anon. Anon. I've been at the Priory for... Two, uh, is that right? Fuck. What? Doesn't matter. Oh, you were talking about a nun? Yeah. Um, no. Are they in priories? No, no. no, they're in convents. Convents, fuck. When you said priory, I thought you meant, you know, the rehab place. Oh. oh I was really confused no. then. There's no nuns there. Okay. Well, We've got to get serious anyway. Okay, right, serious. My dad passed away last year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not funny. No, that's not funny. It's not funny. Oh. I shouldn't have made the nun joke. It's okay. From and on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From on. Anon. My dad passed... Ah, I'm giggling. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny Stop at it, all. Arthur. It's not funny at all. <sighs> From Anon. <laughs> Why are you laughing? My dad passed away last year and he was the most sarcastic, unserious person anybody has ever met. Right. To prove the type of person he was, he planned his funeral and before he was cremated, he had fire starter <laughs> by the prodigy playing. Oh, Great. good man. Okay, he wouldn't mind me laughing. Yeah, no, he definitely wouldn't. Okay. Um, anyway, a few months ago, somebody came to my door and asked if I was the homeowner. I'm 22, but they obviously thought I was a child. So I said no. He asked to speak to my mum and I told him she wasn't home. Then he asked for my dad. So I took my opportunity. My dad had told me twice before he passed away that if I got this chance, I needed to take it. Mm. So I told the man he's home, but he's not very talkative. He didn't seem too bothered and was trying to sell him some new windows. <laughs> I left the man on the doorstep and returned with my dad's urn in my arm. <laughs> the look on the man's face was priceless. This man was speechless. Totally worth it, and I didn't have to buy any new windows. Excellent. Anyway, have either of you ever thought about planning your dream funeral? Oh, crikey. Wow. Well, there's a question. Well, uh, <laughs> that is great. That is really cool. Mm. Well done, Anon, for well actually done, Anon. following yes. following your dad's wishes. Well, A, for playing a good bit of music at his funeral mm -hmm. and for being able to carry his urn mm. to the front door. Um, do, do they bring the casket out in funeral? Yeah. Well, like the, the, yeah. Come, you know, the coffin comes in at the beginning. Yeah, I think I'd want to like put a speaker inside the casket right and then just like before i would have died pre-record me yes being like no no that's hang on a minute no that's really horrible no. they got it wrong yeah. yeah yeah that kind of thing mm. and then what would be a good song maybe like something you know what like an epic choir Burning song love. no yeah just something like really sort of What's the famous, like... Christ. What? <laughs> I'm not entirely like sure. Something, you Do know, you a mean... big choir. Boom. Dum, 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 dum. Yes, boom. that's what I mean. Dum, dum, I think I'd want that. So that's really going dramatic. On, that's going on in the background. As you're coming in going, no, like, yeah, no. Yeah. Let me yeah. out. Ah. Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, that um, would be nice for all your, yeah. all your relatives mm. sitting there. And maybe get them to hire loads of actors who come to the funeral who don't actually know me. Oh, why? Do you think there won't be many people there? No, there will be. Oh. But like well, to confuse my family. Oh, I see. They'll be like, oh yeah, I'm cousin John. Oh. And you'd be like, oh no, yeah, hopefully you'd no, be long gone. I would not. What do you mean hopefully I'd be long gone? Well, it's I mean. Charming. I mean, I wouldn't want you to see your son die. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Fair um, enough. Yeah. No, I wouldn't want to yeah. see that either. Um, Especially if you were going to come back from the dead. Exactly. Pop out the coffin. Yeah. So you, my friends would get confused. Anyway, mm. yours, your dream, your, your um, song, what I, song would you oh, go for? Blah, blah, blah. Um, well, I've always said I want um, Hotel California. And I've no God, idea why. You have why. said that, haven't you? I have that no idea so... why. I just absolutely love it. Yeah. It's not what anyone would normally no. think that I'd want. But I definitely don't want time to say goodbye. Sarah Brightman and... Andrea God. Bocelli. I have that at most funerals that I do really? these days, and it makes me want to. God, people have no taste. Well, no, they but they do, and they think it's lovely, but mm. it's oh, God, it's really tragic. Mm, hey, got funeral. a really good C6 Steve one called Happy Man. That's a really good. Do you know C6 Steve? 
remember? Yeah, rings a bell. Yeah, that's a really good song. How's it go? A, oh, I couldn't possibly say. Great, it can't be that good then, can it? No, probably not. Thanks, Arthur. Well, thank you, Anon. Anon, um, Anon, good, well done. Very, yeah, yeah, really very good. good. Really good. Jolly good. Jolly, um, jolly, jolly good. good. Jolly good, splendid. Question two from yes. Grace. Grace. Hi, Arthur and Mama Hill. Hi. I've been having some relationship problems oh, recently. Oh, dear. I was wondering if you could help. Mm. Me and my boyfriend have been together for a significant amount of time. Mm. He's amazing and is my best friend. No. However, over mm. the last few months, things have started to change. I found myself not attracted to him at all oh, anymore. No. I don't want to kiss him and oh. really don't want to have sex with oh, him anymore. No. He has started to clock on as I now never initiate sex or shut down any advances he has made. Oh. I feel awful as he gets upset at my lack of intimacy, but I just do not want to fuck him anymore. Oh, well. It was all quite say nice. What you mean, Sorry, I wasn't expecting it. It was all quite... <laughs> say what mean, Grace. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> It was all kind of really like well, was well worded well, until well then. written up until that point. Yeah. But I just don't want to fuck his brains out anymore. <laughs> um, I also find he wants to hang out and see me way more than I want to see him. Oh, I fear no. I may be falling out of love with him. You think? <laughs> yeah, well done, love. Um, and I don't <laughs> know what up. to do. I love his company and he makes me laugh, but I don't want the physical side of it anymore. No, you, it feels like I see him more as a friend, companion. Companion, Christ. That hurts me to my <laughs> soul. <laughs> It'd be all right if she was 78. Oh, God. But Imagine being like, I just think we should be companions. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fucking Lord of the Rings. Oh, God, that's really coming. <laughs> I think it's better if we're just companions on this journey. Hmm. That would, oh, God. I mean, yeah, Grace. No, you, she's just got to yeah, tell him. I don't think there's Sorry, much, Grace. There's there's much no doubt coming back here, from this. There? No. Yeah, you... Doesn't seem it's like you over. love him anymore. If you don't want to even she might give him still, a kiss. She might still love him, but just not mm. in that way. And so I think you better to, to say, tell him now. Yeah. And yeah. it will be very, very but hard. please don't say companion to him. Yeah, don't just say that. Just say we should be friends. And don't be upset with him if he doesn't want to be friends with you. No, also that's say, also true. He may well people, say, I never know, want to see you He can't do again. that. You know, you can't expect someone to just want to be friends with you after having those intimate moments. So be gentle. And move on, companion. <laughs> Godspeed, Grace, to Mordor. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, there was a, yeah. Okay, I mean, no, that, that was, yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. you're going through oh, that, Grace. It must no, be very horrible. sad. Yeah, um, that's sad. Okay, question three from Kyla. 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 Hello, Lisa and Arthur. Hello. Many years ago, when I was around nine or ten, mm. I had this insane obsession with flamingos. <laughs> Please don't ask me why. Pretty sure I was just obsessed with the colour pink. Oh. Once I told my family that I love flamingos, all of my Christmas and birthday presents from then on have always revolved <laughs> around flamingos. <laughs> love it. Ten-year-old me was obviously lapping this up, but the flamingo-themed presents have continued to this day. <laughs> oh. Should I say something about it? Oh. I'm still receiving flamingo themed presents, though my obsession is gone. <laughs> I'm worried as I would feel so bad. My family go out and buy flamingo themed oh. things with me in mind. Love all of you guys heaps and please, please, please never stop the podcast. Lots of love, Kyla. Oh, Kyla. This is almost quite like a pretty rendition or metaphor of what we just read. Is it? She no, no, oh, wants, so no longer wants flamingos. Yeah. Yeah. And so, doesn't know what to say. Oh, when it's this, I think it's the same answer. You have to. She's got you to, have to say. Tell the otherwise, she will literally be getting them for the rest of her yeah. life. She'll have you, so many I, flamingos. Yeah, I'd love to won't. like see your room, Kyla. Not in that sounds weird. <laughs> um, see your. She must have so much yeah. stuff. D did you ever get a real flamingo? Is my question. Aww. Is that legal? Probably not. Probably not. Um, well, it's a bit like Auntie Claire, who's got a thing about owls. Owls. So mm. I have for the last probably ten years bought her things to do with owls yeah, she, I and I think it was them. last year it was Charlotte I think who said do you actually know that she still really likes owls mm. and I thought oh my god so I did actually ask her and I said do you want any more owl stuff and she said oh, not really I've got so much <laughs> <laughs> so actually but how many would you have to people see people wouldn't in mind a, no. well um, there is that as well she wouldn't mind seeing loads not harbingers of doom um, <laughs> 
<laughs> owls. Owls. Um, I think, Kyla, you just, I would start with parents or, you know, close family and yeah. just say, do you know what? I'm loving all these flamingos and now but I've no got more. enough now. If you send me any more, I'm literally going to start throwing them out the window. Yeah. The fleming has to go. To go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good Aww. luck with that, Kyla. Oh. Oh. Question what? four from our, our favourite, Terry with an I. Oh, Terry. <laughs> Always oh, box no. office with Terry. Oh, God. Um, hi, Mrs. Hill and Sir Arthur. Good oh. start, Terry. Yeah. It's Terry from previous podcasts. Hi, oh, we Terry. Know. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know, I started my new job and did take your advice to not tell the boy's girlfriend he cheats on her on the red. Oh. Reg? Reg. On the reg. On the, on the reg Regularly. of her car. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I am so up for coming on stage in Manchester. How much fun. Please oh, find me. Love from Terry. Excellent. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Excellent. Yes, Terry. Oh, that's brilliant. Charlotte's coming to Manchester. She can meet up yes, with Terry. Yes, Charlotte can chaperone Terry. I, I fear Terry's going to be out of control. I she, think Terry yeah, might be a bit out of control. Might, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Um, but oh, we all look Terry. out for you, Terry. And glad that your new uh, job's yes. going and well. You didn't, and, and you didn't tell the boy's girlfriend who cheats on her. I wonder how that's all going. Mm. I thought she I could have filled what, us I feel in. Like he was, he, the, oh, I can't remember either. I'm too tired. No, <laughs> it was all to do with, um, there was a girl, there was a boy. No, there was two there of them the, anyway. They were going out and, and they were, he was having it away with somebody else. Mm. But she was leaving work soon and didn't know whether to tell him or not, her or not. Right, right. That made I feel like, yeah. no sense. I thought, I, so I think I remember, I swear I told her to tell him. <clears throat> or was I, am, I, am I lying? Am I, I think I'm getting you, mixed up. Um, you said. I think, no, I think I said okay. just don't get involved because she was going to be leaving right. for a new job soon. Oh, so you didn't use so my she, advice, Terry, and you want to get on stage with me? Oh, no way. Well, there you go. No way now. Oh, you're off. You're not, even, you're not even coming in. I'll give <gasps> Arthur, you a ticket to someone who listens to no. me. <laughs> takes my advice. <laughs> you're banned. No. Joking, Terry. Bless with an me. I. Thierry. Thierry. <clears throat> Thierry. Wow. I feel like we gave quite good answers there. But we sort of. Yeah, they were, weren't too we were well, concise they weren't and. Too dreadful, no, the questions no. either. Um, which I'm very glad about. Mm. Thanks, Jack. Couldn't handle any. Sure I keep going done. a little bit dizzy. Oh, God. I just want to say, coffee? just in case I suddenly fall over. You know, when everything goes a little bit... Is it, maybe it's the height, you know. Maybe it is. Maybe I've got vertigo. Maybe. maybe I've got vertigo. Um, I don't like being up high. I hadn't no. thought of that. Maybe it is that. I mean, I don't think... I don't want to go be. out on that balcony because I think that might do me in. Well, I was going to say we should try. Well, but, I want to um, have a go, but I'm mm. a bit scared. You'll have to hold my hand. Oh, Okay, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, but before yes. we do, yes, always remember. Oh yes. Listen do. to new episodes every week Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> and if you're in need of advice, or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at. I don't know where. Oh. I... <laughs> 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 oh, Jack. No, I don't honestly. know why you bother either. Hang on. Oh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> at Mummy's Boy no, Pod, you it. melon. No, shut up. Mummy's Boy Pod. Oh, yeah, at Mummy's Boy Pod. Or give me a message. No, that was just, that was your only bit. Or give me a message on WhatsApp. Well, it doesn't on, say on there, actually. I know, I was just oh, getting you, were just you involved. getting me involved. Okay. Oh, or well, give me never a, mind. Or give us a message on yes. WhatsApp. On 07822-013-837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask, ask her. her. Bye. Oh, my Lord. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Oh. Can I have a tour of the flat now, please? Yes, of course you can. I'm very excited. It's Mummy's Boy.